Well, if you just saw that, that's a chat console. You can have that on Halo Custom Edition because it's custom and you can modify it. But this chat console is similar to Halo 2's uh, Vesta on Vesta. Well, you can imitate it easily by going to this link I will post in the description, prepared. Scroll down, click on download. Once you download it, let me just start my download. And go ahead and save it to your desktop. Just recommend it to your desktop. You should get a zip file to extract it. Go to winzip.com, rawlib.com, or 7zip.org. 7zip is free, so go ahead and get 7zip. I have winzip, so basically right-click on the chat underscore console, winzip file. Click on winzip, extract it here. You should get about three files as soon as it uh or just a folder once you see the folder double click on it you should get a readme go ahead and uh, read it if you want to he has a whatever it is uh, x fire and then when you see it here double click on content you should have things like these so if you have your halo custom edition icon on your desktop right click on it click on properties this window should pop up click on open file location should get a little something like this um, in the chat console folder where it says content drag that in into the Halo custom edition uh, folder so once you drag it in it's just gonna merge it it's not gonna overwrite anything so click on yes it says move and replace do not do this for next eight conflicts uh, yeah move and replace do this again yes and yeah you should be good that's basically it then start up halo oh yeah by the way if you can't get your chat console to pop up when you're on halo custom edition if you're on Windows Vesta or Windows 7 my video is popping up right now in order to fix that kind of issue with halo custom edition on Windows 7 and Windows Vesta